I'm here at CES 2019. This is the Huawei Honor View 20. From the front, it looks like an ordinary phone, but trust me, it's not. All you have to do is turn it over to the back. Look at this beautiful phantom red color, and you can see it's anything but a typical device. We're going to take a look and see what's inside. All right, I lied. We're going to keep talking about this amazing finish because it's mesmerizing, and I haven't seen it on any other phone. Huawei calls it nanotexture technology, but the effect is a series of chevrons that emerges in the light. The phone comes in blue besides red, and both colors look great. It's just a shame that the second you put on a case, you're going to ruin the look. But this phone has a lot more going for it besides color alone. Let's start with the massive 6.4 inch display, which is truly edge to edge. Do you see how the front facing camera is just a round hole cut out of the screen? And do you see how the sensors have moved to the top of the phone? These are small but significant changes because in the end, you're getting more screen space and a sexier design. The front facing camera here can also take photos up to 25 megapixels, although you're probably not going to use that setting most of the time. There's also an AR filter so you can make Huawei's version of Apple's Animoji, and there's portrait lighting for photos. All of this is peanuts compared to the rear camera, which can take photos up to 48 megapixels using AI Ultra Clarity Mode. This takes a series of shots over five seconds and then compiles them all into one super photo. Again, these files are enormous, which means that you're not going to take most of your pictures this way, but when you do, you will be able to crop in tight to shots without losing detail. The rear camera is billed as having 3D capabilities that can separate the subject, the person or thing that you're shooting, from the background. And that means that the subject and the background can be treated differently. So there's one mode on here that will let you slim somebody down when taking a photo. There's another 3D feature and it's a little bit confusing, but bear with me. If the camera is pointed your way, you can actually use your body to control a compatible game. In this case, a skiing game. The phone also has to be connected to a monitor through a dock, HDMI cable, or Miracast connection for this to be able to work. Now for the rest of the specs. The Honor View 20 has a USB-C port, but also a standalone headphone jack. It's really nice that you don't lose that on this phone. There's a 4,000 milliamp battery, fast charging, and dual SIM capability as well. A limited edition Pro version will have two new colors, including black, plus more RAM and more storage. So with the Pro version, you would get eight gigabytes of RAM versus six with this regular version and 25 gigabytes of storage instead of 128 gigabytes. Either way, it's still pretty good with the standard version. The Pro version will also cost more, but we don't know how much yet. We don't have the pricing or availability. We're gonna find that out when this phone officially launches in Paris, January 22nd.